Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, DJ King. In this video, <laughs> first let me say thank you all so much for coming back, following along with me, hanging out with me during March Madness. You all have been amazing leaving your comments. I'm trying to get back to them. You know, my comments, they still show up like days after you probably left the comment. <laughs> so between work and trying to enjoy the month with family and friends and then um, basketball stuff going on. I'm getting to the comments, so just bear with me on that. But either way, I appreciate you, even if you just come by and hit the like button. So, <laughs> I feel like I'm QVC presenting today. So, I did a video on this baby here. This is the Long Chomp Violet bag that I got from Nordstrom Rack. And I told you, FOMO for DJ King means first of many others. So, this was the first one that I got in khaki. This was the second one in the color violet. I'm gonna come up a little closer. Let's see if I need to bring these up closer. If that'll help me. Okay, so here is the first one. Khaki color. Same type of strap and the French blue logo and detailing. That color is beautiful. The second one is the violet color. And like I say on camera, on my end, it's coming up like a, a different shade than what it looks to me in person. In person, you can definitely see the purple undertones in it. And it has like that, we're just going to say lime green um, logo and details. So the rest have arrived. So I'm trying to present these here so that you can see them. So here are my boxes. I have, let me see if I can move a little closer. I feel like I'm far away. Okay, hopefully that looks a little better. I was trying to make it to where, okay, hopefully that's a little better. So I'm gonna start with this box just cause it's a single package by itself. And, of course, I don't have my, let's see if I have a pen. <laughs> Here we go. Coach pencil case comes in handy. This is how it looks if it comes to you wrapped up in the proper packaging. <laughs> so this is item number one. Well, item number three. <laughs> oh, 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 this color is beautiful. This is in the color antique pink and I noticed this color from watching Mono's Beauty and a couple of the ladies I believe um determined to be and I think Jersey Girl may have picked it up in this same shade but this color it's like your pinky mauve type color like the Mother's Day colors you start to see coming out the end of April early May it's really pretty that could go with like your Easter colors as well. Love this color, had to get it. So this is one. And so it fits right into my, I guess my color scheme that I'm gonna have going on. <laughs> so same setup. This is the antique pink color. And we'll see. Let me just get up a little closer. So there's the antique pink and that's showing true to color. So, and I want to have them so that you can see the colors together. So there's those. All right, so we have khaki, violet, antique pink. 
Big Mama Box. <laughs> when I tell you all March Madness has been fun, it has been fun. I typically find all the beautiful colors, the rare colors that only pop up um, for spring and summer that I love carrying all year round normally pop up end of February, early March. So March Madness, it's right up my alley. Birthday month, everything's been very enjoyable thus far. And let me see. And I know some of you all are probably thinking, oh, I can't have that many bags of the same silhouette in different colors. Well, you know, to each his own, I get that. But when I find something I like and it works for me, I try to get all the colors where I can because <laughs> otherwise you have to wait for them to pop back up and you don't know if they'll pop back up. So, now, seeing some issues here <laughs> hmm well 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 okay so yes we do have some issues huh so we have one item here and one item here. So this is the one I wanted to do the comparison with. And then I'll give you a story about that one. This is the color fuchsia. So again now you can see why i wanted to see if the colors were going to be different or the same so this one i can see some of the purple undertones in it but it's definitely more pink than purple versus my other one even on camera they both probably look shades of pink but now you can probably see one looks more purple than it does pink so i tried to wear this shirt so we could see the colors together and do a little comparison here. So my shirt has pink and kind of a purpley color in it. So these two, they're pretty different shades. In person, this one is definitely more purple. And I wish there was a way I could get the color to show up true to color. But I've been outside taking the picture in the dark. It still comes off the color you're seeing now. This one here is a true fuchsia and it has the black logo and hardware so I love this as well so I definitely will be keeping both of these because I could see wearing these with two different outfits this one here I would probably choose this one to wear because it brings out the pink so yes I am definitely happy now I was really hoping that one would look more purple than the other and it truly does so if at some point in time, I can get a true to color picture for you all, but even on camera, you can see they are two different colors. This is violet, this is fuchsia. Okay, and now let's look at the antique pink. This is the antique pink, this is fuchsia. So I could totally have these different shades, perfect. Now, here's my color story. <laughs> Khaki, antique pink, fuchsia, violet. So array of colors, and this was probably all that I will be getting in this silhouette because I believe the only other color that I wanted, it hasn't popped up in over a year, so it must not be coming back. This one here, I am not going to unwrap. As you can see from this color way here, this is supposed to be the color vermilion. And it was supposed to be like a reddish color, either a tomato red, a geranium red, or in that color family. 
I don't own Vermilion by Longchamp, so it was going to be my first time seeing it in person. But I'm going to show you on my paper, I ordered Vermilion. And if you go to Nordstrom Rack website, you will still be able to see Vermilion's color. But even on the sticker here, so before I return this, it says Vermilion there. But as you can see, this color here is like a light blue. And this color is on their website, but it has the name with it. So I'm not even going to take the plastic off of this. Just, you know, <laughs> I don't feel the need to take the plastic off just to do the unwrapping for you all when I know I'm not even going to keep it. So I don't even want to touch nothing because I know I'm not keeping it because this is not a color that I wanted. So we will keep that receipt together with that. And now for the accessory comparison here. This is the Coach Grit wristlet. I can use that one with the khaki. Not so much with the antique pink. I can use it with the fuchsia. Not so much with the violet, but I could get away with it. Definitely with the fuchsia though. So let me just hold that one up for you. So that definitely pairs with that. While I have that up, here is the Coach Pride Collection. I could get away with pairing these. Let me come around that way again. I could get away with pairing that, but I feel as though it's going to pair better with this. So that's one accessory, two accessories. Of course, you know the DB75. I could definitely carry it with the antique pink. With the fuchsia. And definitely with the violet. Then famous Target Ruby and Cash pouches that we have. It could definitely go with khaki because the French blue would pull out the blue in the wristlet here. If I wanted to use this as like a catch-all or something. Could probably get away with it with the antique pink if I could find something maybe navy blue to pull all the colors together. With this... I could get away with using it, but it wouldn't be my first choice. And with this, I feel like it would pair better because I could find something to probably bring the colors together. But it didn't quite, well, I don't know. Maybe I would not. <laughs> so that was that. Here is the Dooney and Burke Carrington Lollipop Swirl with your purple and fuchsias in there. Of course, you could try it with that. I could try it with this. Or I could pair it with this. And it pairs really well with this because of the color of the logo. I could pull it all together with that. So that's cute. Then, of course, you know, this here could probably pair with either one of them. Just because it's pink, it's different than that, different than this. Then, you know the retro, it's kind of like the doodle. So it pairs really well with the dusty pink, I mean the antique pink, the fuchsia, and the violet. But you can see the difference in the purples there versus with the pink. And just because we have it out. Okay. 
this one may not pair, but I just wanted to show you the pinks. It doesn't really coordinate to me that much. So I probably would not use it with that anyway. But with this here, I was thinking, because this right here looked actually golden mango online. It's definitely not golden mango. So that will not pair <laughs> whatsoever. So I didn't pull that piece out. And these here are the Ruby and Cash and then the Coach Confetti Pink. So these two here could be the catch-all and the wallet. Antique Pink. Eh, probably wouldn't use that just because I knew I had the other two. So this pair is well because I could use this wallet to offset the other pink in the lips on the pouch. And last but not least... I could probably get away with it with that, even though the logo print on the bag is different, but inside the purse. So I definitely have some accessories and I was not sure at first what I was going to have to pair with this. But, you know, sometimes you have to play around with the accessories and your bags and then your outfit and see what pulls everything together. But again, <laughs> this here... Yeah, see, I'm just not, I like blue, but not this shade of blue. This is almost like a baby blue. So I'm not a fan of that one. Otherwise, I would have just kept it and not even worried about it. But yeah, I'm not a fan of this blue whatsoever. I don't even think I have anything that I could coordinate with that. <laughs> so I will definitely return this one. And they don't have the bags in store for me to even switch out to a different one. So that's the other part. But for the most part, I am very happy with the ones that I did receive. So this is the one that I had already. The khaki, the antique pink, the fuchsia, and the violet. So which one is your fave out of all these? I know the pink lovers will probably choose one of these, <laughs> but khaki is a good neutral for people. And all of these I could wear with my outfit today. So... I could get away with this. I could totally rock this. <laughs> could definitely wear this if this was the only shade of pink I had. And of course, khaki. I've worn it with everything, so it definitely works out too. So I am so glad that I was able to finally get the rest of my bags in and do the color comparison all in one. I will be sending the other one back as soon as the video is done because I don't want to keep that color in my collection because I know I will not be thinking about it or wondering okay could that color work for me since it's a color I don't have I'm not about to go down that road so just to save myself the stress of trying to make it work I'm just going to simply return that one <laughs> and just so you can see the kind of blue if it'll show through the plastic the blue on here I believe is called light blue and then the French blue so if I was going to keep it I could pair it with that it would be a nice pretty color and I could probably also pair it with this target pouch well no no I wouldn't <laughs> um, but definitely I could use that but yeah so this is the only one that didn't pan out well and they do actually have the name wrong on the bag where it says vermilion so it would have been a shade of red in the red family which i have enough red bags so i'm okay <laughs> but i was really curious about that one <laughs> so i will send this one back and again thank you all so much for watching and partaking in march madness with me following along with the videos, leaving your comments, liking the videos. I appreciate it. And again, to all the new subscribers, thank you so much. And I will see you in the next one.